Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here with a very sleepy Mika. Hey Mika. You can tell she's super tired after a play date today. So, if you guys remember, we built this big condo of a cage. Well, now that we've got that for when we go out for a minimal amount of time, just because she's still such a destructive puppy, got our water bowl that mounts to the side of the cage. Now what's really cool is just the overall design of it. So I'm gonna put this together on camera. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you how it snaps in and out of place. And it's massive, which is perfect for her because she consumes so much water. Oh, now she's awake. So to go over where my positioning is, this is the corner into the room. I don't want the bowl over here and I'll tell you why. If I put the bowl over here, Every time she sees me leave, if she gets a bit excited, she'll be jumping on this corner. And if you have your water bowl on that corner, it's just going to be a big mess. So if I were you, go to the opposite corner, which would be over here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to mount this. So first, it's pretty easy. A couple of wing nuts. Loosen them up. I don't think it gets much easier than this, but I'll still show you and review it. This is mainly to review it, not to show you too much of the install and to show you the quality, I guess. So we have this, we have this rubber grommet, which is going to help grip the bars and this, which needs to come off. So now we're going to put the rubber grip back on. And this rubber grip is going to help when we go to sandwich it. So put it reasonably high down here, but not too low. I might actually, you know what? I'm gonna go one lower, just so she doesn't have to strain her neck. And then I'm gonna squeeze it around these two bottom bars. So that way it grips right there. I mean, I could go, let's see. Do I wanna go right here? Yeah, it looks like it'll get a way better grip if I just put it right on here. That's what I want, a good grip. So that way if she accidentally, not even accidentally, but grabs it and tries to yank on it a bit, it's gonna hold up. So it goes, the rubber is on the metal side. So it goes metal rubber up against your fence or cage, put on the big black sandwich washer. And then you're gonna take your thumb screws, tighten them down right like that, sweet. Tighten them so they're both snug. And then after they're both snug, you can crank them down. But you wanna make sure that you crank them down at the same time so that way, I already had the other one pretty well cranked. That's why I was giving that one a little extra love. Also, if you can, set it on that bottom bar like I've done. Perfect. That's all we needed. So, now that that's sitting there, you can see our dish. Now, why didn't I grab this one? Because you can grab it and pull it out. It takes a little bit of pressure. Now that we have this, this is the type, by the way, if you're trying to figure out what bowl and how to get it. And then, you just grab it, clean that out, and we can put a lot in there. This holds eight cups. So if you were, I would never put, fill mine with food because she would just eat it instantly because she's still a puppy. But for an older dog, you could throw a little bit of food in here and then they'll probably just chew on it a little bit. Mind you, you probably wouldn't have an older dog in a cage. Just depends on if you have people over or something. But yeah, just take all your stickers off and uh, go fill it full of water. Once it's full of water or food, you just squeeze it back in there. And man, this actually holds it really good. Like I'm pushing down on it and it's not letting go. The whole cage door is bending. So at least you know if your dog's like mine and tries to put her paw on this, it'll hold it to an extent. The only thing, and that's why I put it more into the corner, is if she tries to pull it off this way, see how it's not unsnapping, but if you pull dead on, 
You have to put a lot of pressure. Depending on your dog, they might be able to, but mine, I think I'm safe. This is a really sweet invention. Just so now you can fill this up, put food, and snap it back in. Anyways, I hope that helped you out. I just wanted to show you a really cool accessory I found, and this is at Bosley's in Canada. I don't know where else you'd find it. You could probably find it on Amazon and everything else. It was relatively cheap. I think I paid 14 bucks for this one, and it's a really good quality. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Press the like if it helped you out, and subscribe for more. You never know what I'm gonna post next with myself or...